All right, we're looking at another build request today, and this was posted in the comments of the last video, which I'll link below. And the idea, well, I'll show it on screen now. Here is the comment from Crocs are nice. And it was a double request. So the, there was a pack code actually provided, but also it was either flying fish reactivation where you uh, have the blobfish um, hit the flying fish mid battle and reset the trigger count or emu plus multiple belugas and then weird pets inside them. Um, the, it does specify chocolate cake. However, we did discuss in the comments that this doesn't work. If you put chocolate cake on the beluga, it doesn't count as an empty space at the front for the emu to then continue pushing stuff. So with all that said, um, I'm going to show like the first run that I got that I wasn't super happy with, but it does illustrate the principle here. So instead of chocolate cake, we're going to go with popcorn. And the result of that is that the popcorn will spawn in front of the pet that comes out of the beluga. That is not 100% guaranteed. There is a bug whereby sometimes um, if the opposing team has summoned pets, you can end up with the uh, the opposite happening and then the combo is broken. But here we get sniped anyway and it doesn't even matter. But the, um, the snake gets pushed back one space by the fire ant. The next beluga in the chain gets pushed forward and then um, we get a snipe. Of course, we get Sabretooth, which ends up breaking the... Uh, the snake won't get to shoot any more times. It'll get kicked to the front by um, Emu. But I wasn't completely happy with that because it wasn't really chaotic enough. You know, the uh, the comment, the original comment specifically mentioned that it was supposed to be a chaotic uh, result. And I really wanted to have multiple belugas with multiple things inside them that would benefit from being pushed back from the front space. So I kept going. And we're picking this run up on turn six and I've got a whole bunch of uh, spiders and we've also got blobfish and I was almost always trying to have blobfish leveling up on turn seven to try and then get uh, beluga or orca and yeah, not orca emu we get them both here so I'm going to go for the beluga obviously one of the issues with beluga is leveling it up so having the blobfish and being able to instantly make it level two uh, makes a huge difference. But I was also looking for a shark on tier five. Um, I didn't modify the pack at all that was provided. I wanted to just use what was given. Um, there, you know, there are other ways you could approach this, but shark was in there and uh, I wanted to use the shark to try and um, keep myself afloat because you can scale it so quickly and with the beluga leveling often involving pilling um, blobfish, you're getting extra value from the shark as well. So we get the shark here and the two belugas, but I think I take the shark. I can't remember exactly. I think it's more important to take the shark here um, because, yeah, you can see I'm thinking about it. So we just, we're gonna put the uh, betta fish inside for just now. And then we're going to keep looking for the emu and then for some pills to try and get the shark off the ground. Mammal, one, one of the classic opponents in customs, usually playing something scummy like this team here with the uh, the jellyfish and um, clownfish. Although because we get the level 2 hoopoe bird there, we are going to kill the jellyfish off and actually win. And we do get the pill, so we can pill the spider get a bit of stats onto the shark and we actually get weasel so I can just go for the level three straight away you don't get the level up anymore of course and then there's another beluga I suppose if I was modifying the pack I could have taken chocolate cake out because I wasn't using it at all but luckily here we roll into eagle and I can um, get that into one of the belugas at least for the time being I do want to have different things in there at the end but the eagle will definitely help me uh, preserve some lives so fly is one of the things that I was specifically looking out for, um, but I'm passing it up there. I think we're going to wait until we're a little bit stronger before we start getting um, more unusual stuff into the belugas. But here I get the eagle, you know, the level two eagle is just so good. And then we're going to win as a result of having the betta fish still in the beluga. So this is great. We can partial level the shark and then pill the blobfish. And that means we'll get the level two buffs uh, from the pill. So Cobra is another possibility, not least because it have, has insane starting stats. So 
um, the Beluga uh, spitting it out will be double the stats at level 2. So 24 attack from a summon is um, pretty tasty. And uh, I think we should be okay against uh, this team. I always like it when I don't recognize the the username of the person I'm facing because it generally means I've got a higher chance of victory. So yeah, the eagle is just still so strong despite the nerfs. So another um, blobfish here. And now I'm really thinking about it because um, it's, it's very easy to make a mistake with uh, this lineup where you've got um, multiple belugas and the ordering is very important as well. So I'm just trying to decide here if I'm going to eke any more turns out of the weasel because we are getting extra gold from it. There's another fly there, which you can see I'm, I'm thinking about. So we're going to put the fly into the spot where the eagle was, I think it was. And we're still looking for emu. Popcorn as well is another one that's uh, important. Um, I don't really want to put alpaca inside the beluga. So I think we'll just take it just now. It doesn't matter too much about not having the popcorn yet because we need the emu first. And if I find an emu now, then I can sell the weasel and use the uh, um, alpaca to get some extra levels. This is extremely common to happen. The, uh, the wipe where the most of the front pets get killed. Sometimes the shark gets killed as well. But um, having the respawns makes such a big difference. So... Yeah, I'm, I keep double checking what's inside Flying Eagle. I kind of wish there was a little icon above the Belugas that actually showed which pet was inside so you didn't have to keep checking. Um, so I'm going to actually pill the Weasel this turn because we get three gold next turn and also plus uh, four plus eight on the Shark, which is wild. So there is the Emu. We get it to 1.5 straight away. And I'm thinking about what to do here. I think I can just keep the eagle for just now. Warthog is not one of the... I mean, it, Warthog is one of the things that you would very commonly put inside Beluga, but that's not what we, what we want here. Um, yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm replacing the one that has uh, eagle inside. So we're getting the grizzly now. That was also specifically requested by Crocs. So now we need to change the order up a bit. In order for the combo to work, the... Um, the one of the belugas has to go first. There are, there are actually a couple of ways of doing this, and uh, you can see here I'm I'm actually going to maneuver and, and play shark at the front, and I think I just take the eagle for just now, and I think I was contemplating popcorn because it's better than the um, banana, but they both work the same way. Obviously, with popcorn, you've got a chance of spawning something that can then spawn something else. So we're going to play shark second. Essentially, it's at the back anyway because the emu is going to be kicking stuff forwards. And you can see here how, how the combo works. So the beluga gets kicked to the front. The grizzly would be in the front, but then the vulture spawns, pushes the grizzly back, and now we get the sequence. So again, the fly gets pushed back, and we can now spawn a fly. And then the shark will get kicked to the front once this fly is gone. And the shark is actually going to be big enough to kill this musk ox. Another zombie fly comes out. And we don't actually need any grizzly shots there, but you can see exactly how it's supposed to work there. And if we'd faced a different type of team, um, you know, a different type of summoning team, maybe a little bit stronger, we would have seen the grizzly shoot there and the uh, fly trigger every single spawn. So um, I think here, I, do I mushroom the, yeah, we mushroom the emu just in case. It's very, very common to have the emu be sniped when you're doing this. Um, I mean, facing multi-Lynx teams is extremely common. Uh, of course, I mean, it, bringing something back with 1-Up isn't a guarantee because it can still get sniped by, um, you know, in-battle snipes like Cobra and Snake. But here I'm actually just going to take the Skunk and put it up front. Um, we just need something to be the uh, the combo starter. Um, all its, its job is just to feint, so we might as well use its ability. And then here we go, we immediately face a team that has um, the double Crocodile. And we're going to lose out on one of the uh, the Beluga sequences here. However, we still get the Grizzly spawn. And you can immediately see that it's a snipe team. And, you know, realistically, they, they didn't have enough in the tank to beat the Shark anyway. So we can level two. We're on nine wins now. We can level two the Emu. And then we can level three 
one of the belugas. Uh, I guess it has to be the fly because um, I can't use the chocolate. And yeah, we're all set. So level one skunk at the front, big shark second, and then hopefully we see the combo go off here. And perfect, it's a big scaling team with starfish. It looks like they've got a huge amount of stats, but we just need to see the grizzly actually trigger this time. So the zombie fly spawns, we get another attack. The shark comes in, the grizzly removes the coconut. Another fly spawns. Now the grizzly gets kicked to the front. The zombie fly spawns and we're going to win as a result of the one up. So I really hope that uh, that was what uh, Crocs are nice was hoping for. But because this is such an odd setup, I actually have a whole load of bonus clips from this including one of my favorite all-time uh, rounds of sap, which I, I'll save to the very end. But th this was hilarious, where turn four I get matched with almost an identical team, where we have double beluga, double um, sea turtle, and it's the longest turn four battle I think I've ever had, because look at the health here that gets applied to the dolphins, and then we've got, everything has two attack, but tons of health, and we get so many hits and it ends up being five or six hits there for the two dolphins to trade at the end. So I thought that was pretty funny. And actually that opponent, I ended up getting matched with them later on, I think as well. So here's another one. And this, I think, um, yeah, we, we don't have the shark this time, but we, we get matched with a, a full white team and the only survivor is the emu, but then the respawns trigger and uh, the 1-1 one, one beluga gets kicked to the front. Fire Ant is going to kill two of their uh, pets. And yeah, you can clearly see they just don't have the stats to, um, to survive the respawning. It's kind of funny, really, when you think about it, that in customs, summons are like often the, um, you know, the counter to snipes, which just doesn't really make any sense when you think about it. So uh, here's another one where... Um, putting the alpaca at the front just to make sure that the beluga gets kicked forward. And um, I'm not here I'm not sure why I did that. I should have bought the um, beluga and then just put the reindeer inside it or something. But again, it's a similar thing where the whole team, apart from the emu, gets wiped. And then, wouldn't you know, it's the saber tooth inside the beluga. And we're going to get the classic combo where the emu just regenerates the health on the saber tooth. And, and these days, it, the Sabertooth is so good, it only takes a couple of spawns to kill the rest of the snipe team. Uh, okay, here's, here's one where we've got um, Flea at the front instead of the Skunk. We don't have quite so high levels on the um, Belugas, and we're just going to have to make do with a Stork for now. And this is another one where you look at the opposing team and it seems like an insurmountable barrier. It's, it's so common to see this... Um, jellyfish, clownfish, lynx, and they've also got skunk as well, so maybe they were going for level 3 lemur or something, but we end up actually getting to the point where the grizzly here needs one extra attack to get the uh, the draw, but and we missed out, so that run ended. And um, there, were very, there were lots and lots of rounds like that. I think here's another round from that um, same game. Um, and this time, yeah, we'll just put the uh, the tomato on the eagle. And then another team that looks unbeatable with a 50-50 mantis with coconut. Um, and then the level 2 shark. I've been seeing a lot of this lately. And to be fair, I've done it plenty of times myself as well. We, we get the, the eagle from the popcorn as well. And then the, um, the skewer is going to kill two units at the same time. And look how many buffs the shark got there in one go. And I think here, you know, if we get Sabertooth there instead of Reindeer, uh, I think we win. But um, yeah, so close. But entertaining battles nonetheless. Now here we go. This is probably my favorite round I've ever played. At least in, in terms of rounds I can, rem I can still remember, this one is up there. So we're going to put the... Cobra inside the uh, second beluga. And you can see again, I'm doing the double checking where I'm making sure I know what's in each uh, pet. And then I can't use the chocolate, so I'm just gonna put it onto the emu and go with a four squad. 
and we get matched with the same guy from earlier with the um, the sea turtle team. Grizzly is the first spawn out and then fly next. And we're going to activate the Grizzly. We don't quite kill anything because they've got potato on the turkey. But we are spawning a 36 attack Cobra. They get rat from the Orca. Which actually means that the Grizzly, which is going to get kicked forward before it triggers, is going to spawn the dirty rat. And that's going to result in the Grizzly actually getting to shoot again. Incredibly fortunate to get that from the Orca there. Fly moves to the front. Cobra moves to the front. Grizzly's going to shoot again. And we're, not, we're one attack off again, and this time it's a draw. I was absolutely blown away by that round, and uh, it was kind of a shame that that run didn't go on to win, but uh, we got there in the end. I hope you enjoyed that, Crocs, and uh, if anyone else has any build requests, feel free to post them in the comments below.